Hi everyone, Jason from Makeara here with another Carvera tutorial video. And in this one, we're looking at how to actually upload one of our G-code files for a project to the Carvera desktop CNC. As discussed in many of our other videos, you could use a range of CAM programs to prepare your designs for manufacturing with the Carvera desktop CNC. After you save these designs as a G-code file, usually in .gcode, .txt, or .nc file format, you need to transfer them to the Carvera to start manufacturing. And this process is done using the Carvera controller app, which you can download and install for free from makecara.com. Now, we don't use an external USB drive or USB connection or SD card or something like that, but instead upload our G-code files directly to the Carvera's internal memory. We do this so that consistent machining is guaranteed. With an external connection or USB file transfer, you may run into a problem if a device is unplugged or if the connection is slow. But by uploading the file directly to the Carvera, the Carvera will keep machining even if a connection with the controller app or your network is lost. So let's take a look at how to do this. First, launch the Carvera controller app and connect to your Carvera. Next, open the files menu from the bottom left corner of the screen. Here you will see one folder called examples, which is preloaded on every Carvera from the factory. In this file folder, you will find files from our example guides, and you can choose a file to open or run. Once a file has been opened, you can simulate the toolpaths and preview the toolpaths, as well as scroll through the G-code included within this file. But we can, of course, upload our own files that we've designed in the same files menu. Within the files menu, you can choose to upload a file in the root folder or even the examples folder, or make a new subfolder. You can see here that I've made a subfolder called uploaded for my own project files, but now I'm going to make a new one called new project. Within this folder, I can press the Upload button to select a G-code file for my device. You can navigate to wherever you've saved your G-code files, like on your desktop or in your documents, but you may need to grant the controller app access to be able to view these file locations. I personally have a folder called Carvera G-Codes in my documents, which is where all of my G-code files are exported automatically from my CAM software. After navigating to this folder, I can select the file that I want to upload, then press the Upload button. Once completed, which could take a few minutes for larger and more complex files or when connected via a slow Wi-Fi network connection, you can press close to close the upload window and take us back to the files window. Here you will see that your file has been uploaded to the location chosen within the Carvera's internal memory drive. After choosing a file, we can press select to open it for manufacturing. And again, the toolpaths and G-code can be previewed once a file has been uploaded and selected. When you're ready, you can open the config and run window to set the parameters for this job and start to manufacture it as shown in many of our other tutorial videos. And that's all there is to it. Check out our other tutorials and guides to see how you can create these geocode files using a wide range of CAM software solutions. And of course, please don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching.